historians. Miss Melton is here to walk you through what life was like after the Civil War in the North and the South. So our focus questions today are, what are the major points of the three plans for Reconstruction? How did Lincoln's assassination affect the course of Reconstruction? So as you're going through this section about the plans, you want to focus on those two questions. What is Reconstruction in, ge in a general sense? Re means to do again. So what does Reconstruction mean? It means to construct something again. So it was built, and we have to construct it again. So what is Reconstruction in reference to American history? It is the plans for reuniting the country after the Civil War. So constructing the country, it was two separate, the Confederacy and the Union, and now putting it back together. Why was Reconstruction necessary after the Civil War? Well, Confederate money was worthless because the country did not exist anymore. So there was no wealth to back it up. So any money that anybody had, it was worth zero. Farmers did not have the money to replant their fields. So they, all of the fields and plantations were mostly destroyed during the Civil War because a lot of the battles were fought in the South. And General Sherman marched through the South and burned everything he could down to the ground to kind of finish the war so that the South would give up. And the fields that once grew cash crops were now destroyed. So plantation owners who had lots of money, lots of slaves, lots of cash crops, all gone. And slave labor was also gone. Roads, railroads, and bridges were also destroyed. So a lot of the roads, railroads, and bridges were, there were a lot in the north, but they were not as much destroyed as in the south. The south saw much destruction during the Civil War. The major cities, including Charleston, Atlanta, and Richmond, were nearly burned to the ground. The country had 620,000 war dead and injured. 260,000 of them were from the South. Many Confederate soldiers had a hard time getting home without railroads, bridges, and roads. So if you were a soldier in one place and trying to get back to your, to your home, it was very difficult. And the North had much more dead than in the South but or injured. But it was a loss for everybody. And it, a lot of that was because we learned in our last unit that the Union had a bigger population. So even though it seems like the Union lost more soldiers, which they did, they just had a bigger population to start with. The Southern economy, which is the money, was badly hurt during the Civil War. Because their plantation way of life was over, Farmers also did not have the money or workers to plant new crops, and many freed slaves actually went to the North, and those who stayed now could charge for their work. Plantation owners could not afford to hire workers to plant and harvest new crops. This shows a map of the United States at the time. So this was the Confederate States. On the bottom in the dark gray, the Union states were the darker blue, and the border state states were the lighter blue. So that kind of tells you more devastation were, was in this gray area, some in the light blue, and not as much in the darker blue. There were many plans devised for how to bring the country back together to, from the two separate Union and Confederacy to one United States of America. The Reconstruction era lasted from 1865 to 1877, so about 12 years. You will learn more about those specific plans in the next part of this section.